at a time when high yield bonds were not really in the mainstream. It took some courage, I think, but uh, again, also some real foresight on the part of NYSA to say we ought to do a program about this. I'm Martin Fridson. My 25th anniversary high yield bond conference will be held at the New York Society of Security Analysts during September of 2015. The high yield bond conference has a dual mission. We want to educate and also bring to the attention of practitioners what is on the cutting edge. So we run it as a two-day program with the emphasis on the first day on the education and the second day bringing practitioners who really can tell you about what's happening, what's changing, where the opportunities are. So there's always something new to uncover through this conference. The way it got started really was through some people with good foresight at the New York Society of Security Analysts itself. They approached me about doing this program and I was very honored to be asked to organize it. I got involved in the New York Society right at the time I started as an analyst in 1980. I was still working on my CFA charter at that time and became a member and at that time a big part of the activity of NISO was presentations by corporations and I had a tremendous opportunity to sit next to and talk with very accomplished and experienced analysts covering the various industries. So I learned a tremendous amount just before the program even started, just while we were eating lunch. Now, uh, along the way, I was approached about starting the High Yield Bond Conference, and I had a tremendous opportunity of being in the ground floor of a conference that started at a time when high yield was a curiosity to a lot of people. But the NYSA conference was really an opportunity for people to get together and hear about what was developing, how the market was evolving from practitioners, uh, representatives of the rating agencies. So it was a uh, really unique sort of event in this comparatively young market. Underway, we have a very exciting project in conjunction with the High Yield Bond Conference, the publication of the first book for the NYSSA book imprint entitled High Yield Future Tense. And this is a book that brings together the very best minds in research in the high yield bond area and looks out ahead into what the market is going to look like in the years uh, to come. The book is divided into four sections for a total of 18 chapters. The first we call Market Dynamics, and within that we have some very interesting contributions. Edward Altman and his colleague Brenda Keane, uh, Ed is really one of the giants of finance, talking about the uh, concern that a bubble is developing in the high yield market, how that will play out as he sees it in 2016 or 2017. Uh, former colleague of mine, Chris Garman, uh, is talking about how the market is likely to evolve as a result of a long-term change in the market that he sees is likely to shake out some of the weaker, lower-rated credits in the market. Oleg Malentiev, also uh, a former colleague of mine, talking about the issue of liquidity in the secondary market and I think very importantly in a forward-looking way discussing how the market will eventually resolve this problem of the reduced tradability of high yield bonds. Uh, the second section of the book is on active management and we have some very different views. Uh, David Ranson talking about the relationship between uh, the gold price and spreads and shows that at different levels of risk within the high yield market, the influence of these two factors differs. A very different take, very different way of looking at that decision of how much credit risk to assume within high yield. David Towell talking about the distressed portion of the market and how that has changed and how distressed players have branched out into other activities including uh, going overseas, uh, getting involved in municipal defaults, some becoming activist managers and playing in the 
equity part of the capital structure. The third section of the book is entitled Analytical Innovation, and we have two great examples of quantifying very important aspects of the high-yield market that have been difficult to quantify in the past. So Alex Dill talks about covenant packages. Uh, Steve Ansack uh, similarly doing some ex very good work on quantifying the liquidity of individual issues in the bonds. Another thing that's always been understood to matter but very hard to get a handle on and the proxies that have been used really haven't been adequate in the past. And the final section of the book is on benchmarking and there we bring together the academic perspective with very sophisticated quantitative analytical techniques uh, Frank Riley and David Wright and then a practitioner Bob Kritchoff talks about how the issues involved in construction of the indexes can result in two indexes both purporting to show the same thing can wind up with very different performance numbers for a period of time. My own contribution to the book comes into the area of analytical innovation and what I address there is really the question of confounding factors. If you take an elementary statistical course they'll give you the example of a study that's done of reading levels of school children and they find that the tallest children have the highest reading scores. Of course, what that leaves out is that the older children have higher reading scores and they're also taller than the younger children. And I find that in many aspects of high yield analysis, we have this kind of a problem. If you look at risk premiums on different industries, what you're capturing is not entirely the difference in the risk of the chemical industry, the paper industry, uh, cable, uh, television or what have you, you're really capturing the difference between the ratings mix. Some industries have more double B issues and some have more triple C issues. So I go through this theme in a number of different ways and show how we have to really be very rigorous in making any of those valuation comparisons. I've written six books and co-edited two. My very first book dealt with the high yield bond market. My best-selling book is called How to Be a Billionaire. I have a book on financial statement analysis that's gone through four editions, widely used by money managers. And I'm very much looking forward to completing the book High Yield Future Tense, which will be coming out in September of 2015, because it provides a new perspective that's never been offered before on the high yield market, how it works, and how people can make money in it.